Good morning, y'all. What's up? It's Miosha. How y'all doing today? Who me? I'm fine. But welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for clicking and watching this video. Now, if you haven't done so already, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification button next to the word subscribe. So you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video or a delicious recipe. Y'all know I always have to put the emphasis on share. I need you to share, 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 share. Please tell your mom and them, your cousin and them, your sister and them, your brother and them. Please tell your friends, your folks, tell everybody you know. And don't forget your neighbors and coworkers. Tell them come holler at your girl, Miosha, about a video or a recipe. Now, it is Friday, April 15th, and today is actually Good Friday. An organization that I work for, they recognize Good Friday as a holiday to pay respects to Jesus, who died on a cross for our sins. So, you know, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> for dying for the pardon of my sins but yeah since today is friday i get to be off of work today and i get to actually do stuff <laughs> so i'm getting together with my sister and a good friend and we're gonna have a brunch i have a box that i need to take back to zara i was gonna mail it but i might as well seize the opportunity to actually go into the store today i want to go in bath and body works because i believe there's a sale where you can buy two get two free candles and i do need some more candles all right so i thought it would be cool to just do this get ready with me of course this is going to be my first one but i really do appreciate y'all clicking and watching this video so if y'all interested in seeing this get ready with me as well as coming along with me to brunch and to the mall please continue to watch this video All right, y'all, so we're going to start. I already washed. I took a really good shower. Moisturized my body with bio oil. I'm going to go in and use my uh, Jose Marin uh, Almond Body Lotion before I get dressed. I should have done it now so that the lotion can really soak in my body, but the oil is still fresh because I really just got out of the shower. I threw this wig on, and this is just a curly wig that I've been having for about maybe three years. Um, I guess we could use our Pat McGrath something lighter because it is a nice day today. So we're going to use Path McGrath and I used MD23. So yeah, um, I've already put my moisturizer, my serums, and my sunscreen on my face. I have the Laneige lip mask on soaking in my lips. I think I want to do just a neutral face and I think I want to add like just a red lip for a pop of color because today is so beautiful outside. I was torn. I didn't know if I wanted to wear colors or if I wanted to be just toned down black and white but i went with the black and white because it's easier to throw together um as opposed to me trying to figure out what to wear with a lot of colors so we're going to use the pat mcgrath sublime primer uh, for today since i'm using her foundation i have a mirror in front of me so that's why i also look down probably more times than y'all would like while that's soaking and sitting in let's get our brows together and for the brows like i said i'm going to use this benefit pencil this is just the 4.5 benefit uh goof proof brow pencil but i like it it works really good but it's just so thick oh don't tell me i'm out of the pencil no you see how thick it is i like a thinner finer pencil because then it gives me more brow like strokes but we gonna work with what we have i also have the anastasia dip brow pomade but I really just don't like to use it that much. Maybe I'll try to use it today. So let's just take that out as well. We have our brow freeze, Anastasia brow freeze. We're gonna... So it was so cool this morning <clears throat> when I dropped my kids off to school and I was coming inside. My neighbor, um, I used to always see it outside, but lately I've really been inside just working. Um, working, 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 and trying to get knock school assignments out. Um, so I haven't been really outside as much other than, I guess, walking on my lunch break. See, I'm from New Orleans, so it's just in us in New Orleans to always be nice. So when we see people, we say, oh, hey, how you doing today? And things like that. Well, that's what I would always do when I, you know, would see her. But by me being inside working in school and I wasn't out as much, I guess I wasn't going out, you know, around the times that she would be outside, so... This morning when I was pulling up, she was sitting in her car and she rolled the window down because usually I say, hey, yo, oh, good morning, how you doing? Just out of habit and then she'll just be, you know, well, she would always have a face mask on. By her being in her car, she didn't have her mask on today, but she'll never, you know, before really give me a response back. She might do a wave every now and then, but I felt more so like she was 
more so like, oh, this girl, she's so aggravating. Let me speak to her so she could go. But when she saw me today, she rolled her window down and she said, "My, I was just talking about you with my daughter. She said, I don't see you anymore. She said, I was just telling that to my daughter. I don't see her anymore. And I just thought that was so cool. You just never know how you impact people. She used to probably appreciate the fact that I spoke to her every day, which I thought I was just getting on her nerves. But actually, that wasn't the case. That really made my morning. I was like, wow, that's awesome. And I was, that also encourages me to always want to be kind to, to others. You know, if I would have took it like I always speak to this lady and she always just keep going and never respond back or say anything, I'm not going to do it anymore. I wouldn't have know, known that she actually enjoyed the fact that someone, and she's much older than I am, but obviously she, if, if you know, it's enough for her to bring up to her daughter that she hasn't seen me in a while, that really means I've impacted her in some type of way. So if anything, I hope this story encourages y'all to be kind to people, no matter what the circumstance or how you may feel about them, because you just don't know how much you impact people by just being kind. I'm telling y'all, she when I would say good morning, I really thought I was just straight inconveniencing her. Like, oh, this look, this girl, this little girl is so. <laughs> this look, this little girl come. I really thought that that was uh how she felt. Now this is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfecting Concealer, and this is MD22, the color that I'm going to use. People just have so much on their mind, and you just have to always remain positive when it comes down to certain situations because at my job when I used to actually work on site in clinic um because I work for a community health center so when I used to actually live in New Orleans and I worked in clinic I used to get out of my car every morning and anybody that I saw I would speak to them hey good morning good morning good morning and they hardly ever used to speak back but I never used to you know, feel any kind of way about it. I used to tell people, the people that knew me, they used to laugh at me because I used to say, I, I say, hey, and I respond back to myself as well. Like, oh, hey, how you doing today? All right, you have a good day. That's kind of how I am. You know, as long as I know I'm putting myself out there trying to be as nice and positive as possible. I mean, but I never knew how much it affect people because on days when I just wasn't in the best spirits and I didn't speak. The people that I would speak to that I noticed wasn't speaking back, they'll speak to me. As in saying, oh, hey, you didn't speak? Oh, hey, you didn't say nothing? So that just lets you know you impact people in a way without even knowing it. But sometimes our mind in a way that we think takes us away from actually realizing how much of an impact small things like that and being kind have on people. So please... Be as kind to people as you possibly can. And don't let, you know, the fact that you may feel like, oh, I speak to them all the time. Oh, I do this all the time and I don't get nothing in return. They ignore me. They don't be paying attention. So why I keep doing it? Yes, keep doing it because you just don't know how much of a difference you make in people's lives, whether they broadcast it or not. You just don't know how much of an impact you have on people's lives by doing Something so simple that don't cost you at all. I mean, it really does not cost nothing but pride when you are kind to people. So I don't know what made me want to go into that conversation. I really what that wasn't the thing. I really just wanted to tell y'all how, uh, you know, nice it was for the neighbor to tell me that. But I guess that's just the way a conversation or the way that this conversation was supposed to go. And I'm not sure of who that is for, but never get discouraged when dealing with people. You have to understand all people are people. Nobody's perfect. We all trying to fight and figure this out together collectively. And it'll be easier for us to do better together than trying to f figure things out apart. There's so many people suffering in silence for all kinds of situations because sometimes they just don't feel like they want to say anything. They feel like maybe if they say anything about what they're going through, somebody might judge them or feel some type of way about it or internalize their feelings and feel as though they can input on how this a person is supposed to be or how this person is supposed to feel when that's really just not life. It's really not life. We need to just be there for one another and be as kind as possible.
possible. But yeah, y'all, I'm so happy to be off today. I really am so happy to be off today. So I hope y'all have a great day today. Now, you know, in New Orleans, we always celebrate Good Friday. But since I've been in Georgia, like kids wouldn't even have school in New Orleans on Good Friday. But in Georgia, I was so surprised when we first moved in. The kids still had school and everything. So I realized that's just not something that everybody recognizes. Everybody don't celebrate Good Friday. That was a shocker to me because, like I said, where I'm from, Good Friday is celebrated. So I just thought that was something. It's new. When you move from your hometown to somewhere else, it def definitely opens you up to other people in their cultures. It does. You realize a lot. You see different things. You see a total different environment. Total different way of thinking. People, everybody's just different from the norm that you're used to seeing in your hometown. And I actually think that's a good thing. I think moving to Georgia from New Orleans was one of the best decisions I could have ever made for my children. Because there's so much stuff here that just amazed me. You know, it's just so different. Just the things that you see is so different. And I'm grateful that and thankful. I'm so thankful that I was able to provide this type of opportunity to my kids to have just so much better. Now, my reason for moving to Georgia initially was because of the scholarships they offer kids when they graduate from high school. If they maintain a certain GPA, it's so much help that they offer with college and things like that that they don't offer in New Orleans. And my son, at the time, he was just getting from uh, uh, ninth grade going into 10th grade. And what happened was all came to Beauty Blender. We all came and visit my sister and we, we did uh, a Easter holiday here in Georgia at my sister's house. So that was a game, some type of basketball or some type of game maybe at my nephew's school. And he invited my son to go with him. All right, so in my son going with my nephew to the game, and my son going with my nephew to the game, he came back, and from that time, he could not stop expressing his feelings on the schools here. How amazing it was. How he had the opportunity to speak with so many people, and how he think a school like that would benefit his life in the long run. And my son was actually the one who pointed out the benefits in the scholarship programs that they have here. He was just really excited about it. He was really excited about it. So I told him, okay, now that was uh, the Friday. So Saturday, Sunday come, Monday come, he really not saying much about it. And I'm not paying attention to, you know, when kids talk, you just be like, oh yeah, that's great. So that's kind of how I was about it. Oh, that's awesome. Wow, that's nice. You know, you're listening to your kids, but you're not really investing too much into it. <laughs> so on the car ride home, a few days later, because we drove here for that. So during the car ride later, my son, he says, he, he tells me, Mom, he said, um, I really think we should move to Georgia. And then he started raving about how the schools and everything was and what he saw when he went to the game and the scholarship programs and how it helped him accelerate. My son, like I said, he is um, 6'6", six, six, probably 6'7". Six, so he was talking about he talked to the coaches and at the school. And they more so was telling him how many connections they have when it comes down to playing ball and the different opportunities, how they'll be recognized for the colleges and stuff like that. So he just had long conversation about stuff like that in the car on the drive home. 
So because he was so passionate about it then too, I told him I would think about it. So I called my sister and was just telling her, but she had been trying to get me to move to Georgia for years. But yeah, I called my sister and I was just explaining my son's excitement to her. And she was like, yeah, yeah um, you could send him here over the summer so he can start his camp. And then, you know, by the time school starts, then you can move here. This is the Huda Beauty um, stick foundation and uh, peanut butter cup. So that's what she was saying. And it did sound good when she initially said it. And I did take that into consideration. And I was very grateful for the offer. But the more I thought about it, I was like, you know, I know this is something that he wants, but I don't know. I just didn't want to send my child, you know, here to a new state to live, even though he would have been with my sister without me. You know, go, uh, go enrolling in the school, this, that, and all the other stuff. So I had to make a hard decision. Um, I had to make a real serious decision. And I prayed about it, actually. I didn't leave it up to myself to decide. I prayed about it. I asked the Lord, you know, what he had for me in this situation or at this time. And, you know, how would he like us to proceed with it? You know, just the normal stuff you pray when you're looking for clarity. That's what I did. And I woke up the next morning and my mind was just like, pack your bag, let's move. So I was kind of nervous about it because it was a lot of also people that I know had moved here. And when they moved here, they came, they went back home saying, you know, how they didn't have success. They couldn't find jobs, this, that, the other. And I know I would have had to leave a job that I had been working for for years to make this transition, right? So I was a little bit hesitant at first, so I didn't tell anybody. But it seemed like every time I would go to bed at night, I would get the same feeling like you need to start packing your bags, you need to move. It's no better time than now. And if you keep waiting, time don't wait on nobody. So you're going to be waiting forever. It's never going to feel to you like the right time. And it's going to block you. These are just the thoughts that I kept having. And then I kept having, you know, dream with us living actually in Georgia and things like that. So from that, I took it upon myself and I went to work. And I wrote up a nice letter to my job who I've been working for for years. And I emailed it to them, letting them know that, you know, due to domestic issues, which it was because it pertained to my family, that I would have to let my position go and resign. Um, I'll find somebody or train somebody on my duties. Uh... But I didn't give them a two weeks notice. I gave them a little bit over a month's notice. Before the end of April, I sent that letter off to my job. And then the beginning of May, I let my children know the following month that we will be moving to Georgia. I called my sister and let her know. And from there, everything really just fell into place for me. I haven't had any issues. It's just been a God honest blessing. The opportunities that I have had, the doors that have opened up when I moved here. I said, my, well, actually, my sister told me when I moved here, my sister told me, you always work. You never have a time to take a break. Um, you never take time for yourself, so don't just jump into going and find somewhere to work. Take time, get everybody settled, get things settled, make yourself familiar with everything, and then find you a job. So that sounds real good in the beginning. That sounds real good. Keep in mind that I jumped, moved to Atlanta, and have no plan, but I just knew things would work out. Because of the reason, anytime, I feel as though anytime you do things with pure intentions and with a good heart, then nothing but good can follow. So it, it's nothing that could have went wrong because I was moving under good pretenses. It's how I always feel about certain things. So, all right, I'm just getting my face powder and I'm going to do a little bit more concealer. But this is just the Huda um, and Blondie Easy Bake Loose Powder. So, yeah, so... Um, I 
I went ahead and listened to my sister and after about a week or so I got antsy because I'm all I'm used to working so what I did was I started driving Uber but Uber was also very good because in me driving Uber I, I started being able to make myself familiar with areas right so from driving Uber now I'm familiar with the different areas and I'm getting a real glimpse of some scenery because I would just go wherever people would order so it just really made a difference in my initial experience and the way I got to view things here. All right. So then after that, I want to say I did Uber and I liked it, but then I still got antsy because I'm used to working. So I went and put my job, my resume on Indeed. I want to say in less than a week or so, I got job offers, uh, well, uh, interviews. So I went on those interviews. I had job offers and I got a job really fast out here. But then the pandemic happened, started kind of like our own business with the friend that we're going to eat with. And we started going to these fair selling body products like candles and all. We would make our own candles and sell them. And that was actually going really well. And in the midst of it, the company that I work for now just, you know, called me and offered the position. Things had changed with, uh, Things changed with COVID and now providers are, were offering telemedicine virtual visits and that opened the door to a possibility of being able to work remote and it was just a good opportunity. I love the job that I had in New Orleans. It was just under certain circumstance that, you know, I left and I wanted to make the right decision for my kids. I mean, I felt as though I still have my life to live and I still have to take care of myself, but also have a responsibility to try to do the best that I could possibly do for them and to give them a better opportunity. And at that time too, the Charlotte Tilbury uh, set in powder. And at that time in New Orleans, like the scholarships that they used to offer kids top to pay a portion of their um, college, if they maintained a certain GPA, they were even discussing taking that away because of the budget cuts in Louisiana. So I just felt like I owed it to my, my children to do better or offer them something that could possibly better their life. So that was the idea behind actually moving. But all things happen how it's supposed to happen you know, for certain situations. And I'm grateful for it. You know, but that's all in being positive all the time and just looking towards the best or getting the best out of the situation as opposed to always, uh, you know, just focusing on the negative aspects of the situation. So yeah, we've been out here, you know, and everything's been great. Doors are constantly opening. I really just cannot complain about my life. My kids are happy. Um, I'm able to provide for them and they enjoy their life. They really do. Now y'all, how excited I am to get up out of this house um and just go hang and go to the mall it's to the point where y'all i already know what i'm gonna order off this menu if y'all like that comment down below but when i say i already know what i'm about to order i already know what i'm gonna eat i'm very excited about it i really am i really am and then next weekend i'm very excited because i was invited it's a birthday celebration but i was invited to this wine tasting tour, private wine tasting tour. So it looked like I'm getting me a little life. Now this is the Huda powder and I usually just set the rest of my face with it other than the area that I took the bronzer, I mean took the contour. But yeah, I use this to set everywhere else. I dip it from the top, dip it on my hand. Yep, that's how we end up here. That's how I still get to maintain my job in New Orleans. Of course, not that y'all asked, but just all in conversation. But that is our life. And then when I talk to a lot of people too, they always talking about 
how Georgia never work out for him. I really do think it's under the pretenses of what you move for. You know, what did you move for? What was the result or the goal? Even though I didn't have a plan, I had expectations and I knew what I wanted to become in my life and my kids' life here. So it's not like I moved and was just lost. I'm always a motivated person and I knew that as far as working things, it will come together because I have drive and that's just the kind of person that I am. But when I say I didn't know and didn't have a plan, meaning it's not like I had a job lined up already or anything like that because I did not. I really was just moving under the pretenses of knowing that everything's going to work out because it doesn't have a choice but to work out. And sometimes that's just the mindset that we have to have. It's going to work out because it has no choice. It's going to do well because it has no choice. Sometimes failure really is not an option when you have so much stuff at stake. Failure is just not an option. I know a lot of people depend on me. And though I still made an uh, impromptu jump from home to here without any real sound plan or anything like that, I just knew that it would work out because, like I said, it didn't have a choice. So now we're just going in and bronze out face. And this is a Juvia's place uh, in tan. And I really just dab into both of them and tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. And let that warm my face up really nice. Then I take this brush. I don't know what it is or where I got it from. Probably in one of a subscription box. But I take this and I just run it. I don't do no fancy contouring. Just take this and I run it down my nose. Now, if I was going somewhere fancy, maybe at night or dinner, then I'll be most precise. I would. But seeing as though I'm not. And we're just going to a brunch and going to mall on our own just to have something to do. And I'm not even going to be out for a long extended period of time because I'm going to be back home by the time the kids get home from school because then my son has to go to work. We're just gonna blend that really well. And I like to take it up and blend it in my eyebrow as well. I'm not putting nothing extra, but I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit. I think it looks okay. It's just a weird angle. I'm not used to doing my makeup and things like that. Where I'm at now, this is just actually on the side of my bed in my room. Um. But yeah, I'm not used to actually sitting here. I'm used to actually being in my bathroom where I can actually see everything that I'm doing. But so far, it looks like it's good enough. All right, now let's just do a quick eye um, makeup. All right, so I see a crease color we could use. We'll use this and mix it with this. And just go ahead and blend these in. Really good for a nice transition. Then I'm gonna take this Huda and get a deeper brown. I'm gonna deep dip into a deeper. This is Coco from the Huda Beauty Remastered palette. And we're just gonna go in lightly. I did tap some of the SS powder off this uh, brush from it. And we're just gonna deepen it a little bit. And bring that in. We're not going to do nothing too major because, like I say, I want to wear a red lip. 
I just want this to be real subtle. All right. So far, so good for me. Now we're going to go into this other Huda Diamond Palette. Ruby Obsession. Let's see. It's cute. It's pink-ish. Now we're just gonna go back into the same brush we use with the deeper color and just add a little bit, right? And then we're gonna go back in the brush that we used for our initial color. We're not adding no more to the brushes. We just cleaning up with them. And we're just gonna go in and make sure everything is blended well. Take our time, blend around those edges. Also considering the fact that we are uh, uh, low on time, I do want to tap another color in the middle. And this is a color out of that Novena palette. And it's just going to help blend everything better. Think we look good think we look good think we look good yes i do take this shade and just soften up this piece a little make sure everything i think we did a little something now i think we looking like a little something now let's see what we're gonna use for inner corner just to give us a little pizzazz Who's palette gonna give us some pizzazz? We gonna use bubbly in this palette. Bubbly. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what, with all of this, cause I think we did do a little extreme on the eyes. With this, I think, we gonna just do a new lip and play it safe because I don't I, we gonna do a new lip after all of this it got carried away even though it's real subtle and cute it's going a bit into the most and I wasn't trying to do all of that just taking a clean brush and we just gonna blend this together mm -hmm. all right now I'm just going to take a brush. I use this pencil brush and we're just going to blend a little bit of the browns at the bottom of our eye. Um, and take these two that I originally started off with and we're going to tap it under. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to take this brush with no new product and we're going to blend it. This is just a Sahara blush palette, and we're going to use Tall for our blush today. I think that's how you say it. So, we're going to go light because they stuff is. We're going to start here to give ourselves just a little color. And I do like high blush. It just, I like that for me. For 
bring it across my nose a little bit. We're going to take this Dior Backstage Powder in 4 Neutral. And we're going to take a good fluffy brush, dip it in there real good. And we're just going to tap that everywhere. And I just think that this gives everything a real decent finish. Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. <sighs> Basically do the most with the setting spray. <laughs> we gonna let it dry and do our lips. So let me get my lip pencil out my purse. All right, so now we are going to line our lips. Really defining. That's what I'm doing there, just really defining my lip. And we'll go in with the Charlotte Silbury and Pillow Talk. Our lip today. This is the Lights Camera Lashes from Tarte. Uh -huh. Man, this mascara is good. I might have to buy this one. I have a lot of mascaras that do all these samples that always come with stuff. Man, look at that, y'all. All right, y'all. So we all finished our face. I'll show y'all what we wearing today. This is my outfit for today, something real simple. All right, y'all, so this is it. This is just a black and white, really cool linen dress that I purchased. I think I purchased this dress probably four years ago. Um, I'm not even sure where I got it from. It has a cute cutout dip in the back, which I really like. And then it has the cute uh, frill at the bottom, so just makes it really nice for a good brunch. For perfume, we're gonna wear Killian's Good Girl Gone Bad, so let's put it on. So for perfume, it's Killian's Good Girl Gone Bad, and I actually overspray. Just spray it in my hand all too, because I like you to smell me when I pass, and it keeps smelling me after I'm gone. Then we're gonna pair it with these Givenchy glasses. Glasses just always make me feel so cute. And then I'm gonna wear my body bag. I think it really, the purse sets it off really well. This wig, it needs some oil. I washed it um, and let it air dry. And I just put it on. But to say I had this wig for, and I'm not telling you no lie or exaggerations, I had it for three years. And it's just always so super soft. I put some Shea Moisture mousse in the hair and then in addition i'm just wearing some black slides and put these black easy slides on but yeah y'all this is how we heading out so so if you watch thus far throughout the video thanks so much for watching so yeah again we're going to brunch hair rocks out and we're going to run a zara because i need to return this dress but if you're still watching thank you so much and i will see y'all <laughs>
we had us a really good day today. Um, the kids are actually home from school. They're getting a bath so they can start their evening. Um, but yeah, we had a good day. Now I really have to get better with this filming because when I'm in restaurants, the restaurants are usually so loud. And I'd be wanting to do, you know, a vlog where I can eat and talk to y'all and talk about the food, talk about how I like it real time while I'm recording. But it's just very difficult. As well as they always have music, loud music playing in the background. And I just don't want to get demonetized before I can even get monetized. When I have days off and I can do vlogs, you know, I'll record them. But my niche is cooking and most of my videos will be cooking tutorials, cooking videos, and grocery store hauls because that's what I do. That's what I do. All right, so uh, y'all know I went to, well, early on in the video, I told y'all I went to Zara to take something back. But while I was there, I walked past, you know, the front when you walk in towards the counter. There's the perfume, all the perfume stack there. So I went to the perfume. Now, I really wanted to get a few things from Zara that I saw online, and I thought I would have had success in the store. But baby, let me tell you, everything in the store was a small, extra small, and I was surprised if I saw a medium. Now, I'm not sure if I just went to the store late, but Zara, come on now. Could you, could you please get some larges, extra large, the, the sizes that we need in the store, please? That's what I'm going to need you to do. Oh, yeah, I went to the Zara and Linux Mall um, today. And I, did, I didn't get any clothes. Uh, I did see a few items that I'm going to probably purchase online. I'm not sure, but... At the front counter, I was going to get this uh, Twilight Mauve, Femi Twilight Mauve perfume. I, I smelled it. And it just smelled real fresh. Like, it just took a really, really good bath. It, and it was 20 I think maybe $25 for it. But then, that right next to it, they had this twin box. And in a twin box, you get tw two perfumes for $25.90. Now, I just really didn't understand it. So, when I brought it to the counter, I asked the uh the young lady at the register to explain it to me she said that's really just the way that it is i guess so yeah I, I don't quite get it but this is the one that i purchased and i'm also purchased it for my daughters uh so when they go into school they can have some type of perfume instead of coming in my bathroom every morning using all my good lotions and perfumes they can have their own and it smells really fresh so they're going to smell good and bubbly like soap at school I'm just not sure if how long do it last or anything like that. But then it also came with this one. I don't, let's see what this is called. This is called Weekend. Weekend 04. So let me see how it smells. Something about this box has something smell like roach spray. I really just don't like it. So we're just seeing how it smells. Mm. I like alcohol I don't really know what to say about this one of course I don't like it but again it's really cute for my girls so just two bottles that they can put in their room in their bathroom or whatever and they can just have their own fragrance and it, the bottles are really cute I love this pink and this yellow is really cute too so I purchased this from Zara all right so i got a notification that i had a parcel pending in my mailbox so i thought it was going to be my sephora stuff and i was going to be so excited because i could have showed y'all the things that i purchased from the sephora sale but it wasn't but this is still exciting to me so you know when i do the chop 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 it up portion of my videos i always have those plastic cover uh plastic chopping board covers well those are all scratched up and ruined and it's really embarrassing at this point that I use them to chop, chop, chop it up. So I purchased some more off Amazon. So let's take a look at them. Now the first set that I had came out of a Fab Fit Fun box. I want to say maybe a year ago. And that's really just how long I've had. So yeah, these are just really cute and nice chopping board covers. Bath and Body Works had a sale. Buy two candles, get two free. And in addition to the buy two candles, get two free, I had a coupon for 20% off. So uh, I purchased eight candles and I also have a body spray, a mini body spray and lotion for my daughter to put in her book sack. She's uh, 10. So she can put it in her book sack to freshen up throughout the day at school if need be. Going to school. So I purchased all of this and it's just $105 and that's including tax. So I thought that was awesome for um, eight Bath and Body Works candles and uh, mini 
spray and lotion for my daughter's pouch for school. Now, I didn't smell the spray and lotion, but it's strawberry pound cake. And that strawberry pound cake candle is actually my favorite. So she should really like this. So now she has this in addition to some extra perfumes that uh, she can have to go in her room. So to be honest with all of this and then all of the body, body washes and good soaps and everything I buy for my kids, my girls, you should never be able to catch them slipping. That's one thing I teach them oh so well. So let's just go through the candles really fast that I purchased. I really didn't smell the candles because I had my mask on in the store and some of the candles I was able to smell really good through the mask and some I was not. So I really just picked up and I'm hoping for the best. So we're gonna try to see how they smell now. So the first one is strawberry pound cake. I don't need to smell strawberry pound cake. I love strawberry pound cake. This is the best candle they could have ever uh, made. It's really good. Oh, it's delightful. Now in the store, I did smell a lemon sugar pound cake candle. But the thing about that is that really smelled like uh, bakery deli pound cake, lemon pound cake. Uh, and I just didn't want that. So I'm just smelling it again because it smells so good. But that's just another strawberry pound cake. So this is eucalyptus springs. And I just like this in my bathroom. Light it and it's, oh, it smells so good and refreshing and just relaxing so I can use that while I take nice soaks in the tub. This is orange pineapple punch. I've never had this candle before, but it's different. It smells like a, it smells like a fruit punch, but like the homemade fruit punch when they mix the orange, the pineapple, the grenadine, um, the cherry juice, a little bit of lemonade and things like that. That's exactly what this smells like. Um, Oh, I actually like it a lot. I like it a lot. It's real fruity and it smells delicious, actually. So this is Ice Dragon Fruit Tea. Oh, it smells so fruity and delicious. I like this a lot. Ice Dragon Fruit Tea is really good. This one is, and this is so pretty. Look at this. This is pretty. It has uh, gold. And it has dragonflies all over it, and it's called Champagne Toast. Ah, oh, it's pretty. It's a real pretty scent. I just hope when I burn it, you can actually smell it. The other two are more masculine. So this is Dark Amber Oud, a white barn candle, dark golden amber, fresh rainwater, and oud wood. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I personally wouldn't burn this in my room, but my son will like it a lot. It's very masculine, but it smells really good. It smells good and fresh for a man. And this one is Lakeside Morning Crisp Air Driftwood and Fresh Green Apple. Oh, this one is just fresh and crisp. I will burn this in my bathroom more so. I want to know what I might get away with burning it in my kitchen, but in my kitchen, I like delicious flavors. I like warm flavors like that strawberry pound cake. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't done so already, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please hit that notification button next to the word subscribe so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video or a delicious recipe. If you like seeing videos like this, please comment down and just let me know. Let's chat, chat, chat it up. Also, if you like any of my other videos, please go and check them out. I have a lot of videos with a lot of delicious and tasty pescatarian slash vegetarian recipes there. So please go check them out. And if you check them out, share them with your friends as well as try to watch the entire video. Like I always say, my view count is down and your girl is just trying to get it up. I'm gonna try to remain as consistent as possible and uploading videos, but I really, 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 really need y'all help and I really need y'all support um, just to help me uh, boost this channel. So my initial goal was 100 subscribers and I'm there. I think I'm at 100 and maybe 24. And now my new goal is 500, but I can only get there with you all. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Again, thank y'all. I really appreciate you. And as always, I really do pray God bless and keep you until my next video. Bye.